I'm going to be sad after close my library. Me and the boys are really enjoying our time here. We use the library because we need someone to help for the children for the homework club. It's our um, center of our community. They do artwork. I use the library for homeworks. If you don't have a computer around here, you can go to the library. Club, I've been absolutely staggered at how many children come on their own. They go to the library. There's a lot of the people that um, come are disabled. The bridge club is the only thing I have left that gives me mental stimulation. I have a severely disabled child who um, really does need this library. And come out and it's got disabled facilities. He can't access the computers at the other libraries in the borough because they're not at the right height. It's an absolute salvation for me. And it, it is a very, very useful for the, our children. In losing that, it would be losing a positive influence on our community. By the council's own statistics, it's the best used library by children in the borough. The library is a very useful source of information for our learners here. The homework club, 45 children or more, use that because they don't have facilities at home. This is one of the few opportunities they have to get books for free. They are not a luxury, they are not something that is uh, extra to be added on in terms of public spending. They are an essential part of a child's development. There's been a really useful um, equality impact assessment that was done by the council officers. If you look at every aspect of disadvantage in terms of age, literacy, English as a second language, disability, all of those categories, York Gardens has a fantastic um, record of achievement. It's crazy, you know, why are we talking about closing everything, everything down? Why don't we just, if you're going to close it, just close it for a day or so, or a couple of days, but keep it open so many days, because there's so many people going to suffer. Save your garden's library! Close it, we need it. And I urge everybody concerned to reconsider the current library cuts, and particularly the cut of this library on the York Estate.